I'm so glad that them hot toddy shorts are no longer trending because that was not a functional. Hey girl, hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elisha Tania and here on my channel we talk about all things fashion, beauty, lifestyle, motherhood. We've been doing a lot of vlogs lately but today is an actual fashion video. If you can tell by the title, we are talking about all things fall, what's trending, and I want to talk about wearable and attainable ways that you can wear these trends. If that's something you'd be interested in, please consider subscribing. Stay for the full video because I'm going to go over certain ways that you can attain these. These items you probably already have in your wardrobe. I'm also going to be doing a part two of this and doing some styling with some things that I already have in my wardrobe. So we're going to shop my closet and do some of these trends. So make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my other uploads in conjunction with this fall trends video. Let's get right into the trends. I haven't done a trend report in a really, really long time. I'm actually, to be honest, very far behind in New York Fashion Week. I haven't watched any of the fashion shows this, this New York Fashion Week. And as you know, we are already looking at 2025, the year ahead, but you can reflect back on some of the runway shows and kind of get an idea of where you'll be in that fall upcoming. So last year we saw a lot of different trends running down the runway and some of them trickled into the summer. So in a lot of the retailers, you would see some of these trends already kind of blossoming and showing up this past summer, but they're gonna continue into the fall. So we'll go ahead and go over some of those key trends that you will see this fall. And we'll kind of talk about what you can do or how we can play on the certain styles and certain trends. So let's get right into it. I always like to start off with a color scheme, right? So usually in the seasons you will see certain colors kind of pop up or appear across many retailers in the store. They'll have certain sections and certain colors that continue to pop um so this year we will see this fall we'll see these these three colors show up quite often in a lot of retailers and i'm really excited about this one the first color is this oxblood maroon kind of deep cherry red color honestly i'm really excited for this one because I know that this is something that I can wear, something that I already own, and something that's one of my favorite colors. I've already got my fall color going. This is my favorite fall nail, nail color. <laughs> it's that deep maroon. It's my favorite hue of lipstick. So I'm really excited about this color, and this is something that I already own. Last fall, we saw bright red come down the runway, and it was a big big color for that fall and that wasn't something I was used to I did try that I don't really gravitate towards bright red colors so this maroon oxblood deep cherry red is something that I'm really excited for the next color is an olive green green being one of my favorite colors this is not something that I'll have a hard time with I buy a lot of this color anyway I love the khaki green. I love camouflage pants and like camo colors. So this is something that I already have in my wardrobe and I'm really, really glad to see. And it's not a bright green that we saw a few years back in the summer, that Bottega green. It's this olivey, tonal, almost like a pistachio green. And I really would like to use this green color with some of my summer colors like um, bright orange or um, more of a muted banana yellow type of color with that olive color. I just think that would be such a good pairing. I'm actually going to try and do something with that soon so look out for that. The last color is chocolate brown. Now that's just like you know <laughs> <laughs> just a kind of a, a really good fall color and that chocolatey brown we're gonna see a lot of um, we saw a lot of like chocolate brown coming through in different like leathers and tonals and 
all of these like accessories are coming out with this these colors and another thing about that burgundy it's not going to be um a full like monochrome look i think with the burgundy we're going to see it more across accessories and it's really good to see it that way because if you're not into any of those colors or it's not something you really like to like delve into color wise you can kind of add these colors in some of your accessories whether it be a burgundy or cherry red bag or hat or sweater or vest or scarf you know um or olive green bag or um you know a chocolate brown bag or a chocolate brown coat or a chocolate brown shoe all of these things if you don't really see what you like it clothing wise in these colors or you're not too sure about how to do it grab something in the accessory bundle you probably have something obviously in these color schemes because they are very um appropriate and very common amongst like the fall colors and i'm really excited about it i love that dark deep um uh, colors in the fall then really fall is my favorite season so i'm really excited about these colors let's move on to textures and patterns <sighs> I love textured things. I love everything fall, winter, and I feel like now that we're in fall, winter, we can really layer it on. And when you think of winter, when you think of fall, well, when you think of winter, you definitely think of like fur coats. I feel like on the runway, we saw a lot of that and also a lot of the retailers were showing us like faux fur options, fur bags, a lot of feathery type of materials. Um, I also saw a lot of shirling and I've already seen like a few retailers kind of show us some shirling type of jackets and I am really excited about the shirling. I don't really get into the fur. I love fur coats. I don't own one. I'd love to have one um, but I don't own like a true fur coat and I just don't see the point of having a faux one. Like I want a real deal fur if I'm gonna have a fur, you know, like a vintage nice fur. Um, but I am into the shirling coats. I have a few like leather shirling uh, collars and lapels. I love that like aviator, old school Amelia Earnhardt type of, um, you know, jet flyer <laughs> type of uh, jacket. So I do have a few of those in that style. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited that they're still gonna be on trends and you will see a couple more releases of that. Um, so I am excited that I already have that. And the next thing I would say is suede. Suede is something I'm really, really excited about. If you saw my recent H&M try on haul, you saw that I got that really cute suede crop jacket. It's faux suede, but it's still just so good. It's the perfect color for fall. I'm excited about suede. If you watch my Copenhagen Fashion Week inspiration, I had a suede knitted crocheted type of skirt. Uh, I love that skirt. I hope to wear it a few more times as we transition into summer because it can lead to more summery kind of um, with like the the crochet cutouts. I also scored a green Ooh, a green midi suede skirt off of the secondhand market perfect it fits so beautifully i can't wait to wear it i love how we're seeing so much suede i love textures i love the way the suede looks i've seen so many different suede looks as i'm like looking for trends there was this really cute look that i want to try using that green skirt i got it's like that olive dark green color i want to do like a gray t-shirt with that same faux suede jacket that i got from h and M. I just imagine doing a full suede look oh my god so good one day i do want to own a, a suede trench coat I'm obsessed in the chocolate brown color that's trending or even like a tan i did see a really cute cropped suede um i think it's faux suede honestly faux suede uh jacket in cream at zara i just thought this was a really good way to kind of bring in that trend i love the suede we're seeing suede everywhere suede bags suede coats suede shoes so if you have any suede if it's real or faux 
wear it because you can wear it now only thing with suede is it's really hard to wear in the rain it can get stained easily so it is something you know if you have real suede cherish it if you have some faux suede wear it still cherish it because it is hard once it's ruined it's ruined but i love the suede um i love the suede bags that we're seeing i think an easy way if you can't really get to a suede jacket you probably have a suede bag or you'll see some faux suede bags somewhere i this one bag these there's two suede bags that are stuck in my head that i can't get over is this one by by louis vuitton it's new pharrell's uh recent release oh i'm popping it on the screen i dream about that bag okay um i dream about it because it's that good <laughs> it's that good but yeah uh i will definitely be grabbing that suede jacket that i got from h&m and styling it up plenty of ways from fall all the way to winter and the one thing about suede it's really good for transitional weather because it's not super heavy right even though it's genuine leather um if you are looking for suede check the secondhand market check vintage places i mean you can take it to a cleaner if there's stains on there and they'll be able to get it out it might be a little expensive but you can definitely find suede on the re resale market secondhand market the two skirts i found were in pristine condition fit perfectly so shop around um if you want authentic suede i would buy it secondhand in my opinion all right let's move on so the next then the last thing i'll mention with like textures and patterns of course is leopard print i mentioned this before but leopard print is everywhere and it's got to the point where i'm just so over it and i think like it's just so overdone and it's done in so many different ways and i'm just kind of like over the whole thing this is a pillow on my couch this is not on my body but i'm just over like the whole leopard thing it's at this point it's like being done distastefully and i'm i'm really just over it like we can just dead it at this point i mean but you will continue to see it i mean it will literally be throwing up at you at the stores i mean on jackets on purses on uh, everything I mean if you want to dabble in this trend and you're not really big on it throw an accessory a, a, a leopard print bag a leopard print shoe you know like a good shoe but you got to pick the right kind of leopard it has to have the right kind of spacing in between right uh, it has to be on the right material just to make sure it's not reading cheap okay and for me personally I will always pick snake print over cheetah okay i love snake print so that's something i want to try to incorporate instead of the leopard print so anything that i see that has like the snake skin alligator skin any type of like <laughs> that type of animal print i'm gonna go with that because i like the way that looks more again we're back to that suede bag which is also suede and also in that yeah you see where i'm going oh it's so good it's so good oh I'm gonna pop it up on the screen one more time. Oh, it's so good. All right, let's move on. All right, so now that we talked about textures, we talked about patterns, we talked about colors, I think now we should go to the silhouettes, right? So I think every year, we every season, we see like new silhouettes or different silhouettes. And silhouettes is a hard one because it depends on your comfortability. It depends on your body type. You don't always have to dibble and dabble into the certain silhouettes but I kind of like the ones that we're seeing on seeing trend this this season and the first one I call it a nip tuck I don't know if that's really what it's called but really you're just accentuating the waistline but you're having these exaggerated shoulders and I think we've seen that for a while now from the hourglass shapes in the blazers and the coats and we're going to keep this keep seeing it but one thing I will say, I see a lot of like belting happening and not just in the tailoring like we saw before, but more taking um, a grandfather blazer or a large oversized blazer and belting it to give it that big shoulder and little waist, tiny waist effect. And I like it, you know, um, I saw one inspiration where the girl was wearing this like full fuller bottom skirt with a nip tuck of a blazer with a belt kind of giving her that waistline still having the exaggerated shoulders i loved it i will definitely be getting into that i'm a blazer girl i love blazers i've scored a really good deal of blazers that are 
pretty big in the shoulder because I'm already have like large shoulders right and I love the way that looks but nip, nipping the waist a little looks really cool and you can do this easily also with like a cross blazer that kind of buttons asymmetrically that would be really cute that's how I would do it as well if you don't really um like the strong shoulders you're still kind of accentuating the waist with that blazer so i feel like i've seen that a lot another silhouette i'm seeing is full skirts so you know we've seen a trend of like the bubble and mini skirts and me personally i always love a good pencil skirt i've always been a good pencil skirt girl and i never really wore mini skirts till this recent year and I started wearing like the pleated skirts and like little mini skirts with knee-high boots because I always had a like insecurity about my thighs and my cellulite but now I'm like girl you're gonna get these thighs you're gonna get this cellulite we're gonna wear these mini skirts <laughs> and now I'm obsessed with mini skirts but in a-line skirts I love mini a-line skirts I love the way they look especially being hippie they kind of just go out and flow I love them so now we're going to see it in a midi version you know how we saw a lot of those bubble skirts bubble dresses now they're making them in the midi length so if you weren't too comfortable with the mini bubbles look into the midi bubbles I'll pop up a picture and I really do like them I feel like you could style them in so many ways I like the idea of a full skirt you know, I have that denim um, skirt that I have from Wolf and Badger. I want to try and pull off that full skirt look this fall with that um, with that skirt. And I had plans for it for fall anyway, so I'm really excited that this trend is actually trending. Um, I also have like pleated midi skirts. So if you have like a pleated mini skirt or any kind of midi skirt that's A-line, it will give you that effect. I like the way this girl paired it casually with sneakers another young another um inspiration i saw was the full skirt with a vest and loafers i thought that was really good and then kind of the bubble skirt with more of a fitted tight kind of asymmetrical shirt i think that would be really cute this fall so i really do like the full skirt trend i was like why are we doing this but if you don't have it doesn't have to be like a 60s style where you're wearing like a tiered skirt under another skirt it's not like a big poofy skirt you can just do an a-line skirt you know if you have one wear it it's very i think we all have something that will give us that full skirt look right i also love the quilted not quilts it's not a it's not a kilt what is it like the plaid skirts i love the pleating i saw um, one of my favorite um fashion girlies i love her style it's very minimal very like just clean and just very very nice but still she just always hits the mark and always looks so good and polished and she had this perfect like a-line skirt that had like these pleats and tucks in it just reminded me of just a vintage a good vintage tailored midi skirt and i would like to find something like this because i think it would be so cute with a pair of kitten heels or a pair of boots with a coat a turtleneck or a chunky knit sweater i just love this so i am on the hunt for something like this come my uh once i get out of my no buy season <laughs> But I do want to try to find something like this. And I might try to find try to find it on the resale or secondhand market or thrift store. So let's get into more of the style trends, I would say, or the inspiration style trends. I don't know what to call this. I'm going to come up with a cool headline or something. I guess. I don't know. I'll put it on the screen. We'll start with the one that everyone has probably fell victim to right um the cowboy culture the american western style it's everywhere it's booming uh you can thank beyonce for that you can thank pharrell at louis vuitton and like making it this huge heavy inspiration but for me i will say that this is something 
that I realize is already part of my style. It's already something I already grab or gravitate towards. One of my favorite designers is Isabel Marant and I feel like her, her, uh, her style and her aesthetic of her entire brand is this American cowboy rancher style. And I feel like it, mine is kind of like that, like almost like a boho rancher kind of style. Y'all know, if you follow my vlogs, you know I garden and I really wanna be a homesteader one day. I wanna ride horses. I have all these dreams of being like a rancher, honestly. And I really do think this is like my style. Um, but now I feel like it's just like, I wanna really immerse myself in it because it's trending right now. But I also realized that some of it is part of my style from the suede that's like trending but also like the fringe with the boho this is very isabel marant like if you know you know isabel marant also ralph lauren i just thought about that like ralph lauren he's a very like american he's an american designer there's american rancher cowboy culture in everything he creates and i've actually enjoyed the 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 trend that we're seeing so i mean even from louis vuitton on the runway there were some pieces that were eating pharrell did his thing okay and even just seeing like beyonce pull out even the vintage pieces roberto cavalli and like merge these different designers that are going for it all the way down to like the accessories the bolo ties um the fringe suede the cowboy hats everything like i love this look here <sighs> sorry you guys cut off we're back but my teak rancher hat that's very i've had it for a few years but I, it really does fit this style from down to my like turquoise details and things like that i just love this style and i'm a denim on denim girl a denim a full denim look is like my go-to my style go-to and i that's all cowboy american western culture so you're gonna see a lot of that and i feel like denim on denim is a seasonal cross seasonal like look and i just think it's very easy so i love the cowboy culture i love seeing the cowboy boots i love how we're seeing it like a boho chic look with cowboy boots with tiered skirt or even like that full skirt look with cowboy boots we, we i've seen that done a few times i love the the cowboy culture or the western style accessories the big chunky belts that um that kind of sway and hang low to the studded material that we're seeing belts the studded bags the turquoise the bolo ties and all different types of uh all types of of materials the cowboy hats being made with different material and just all the silver and the turquoise i'm enjoying it are not too comfortable try it with the accessories try a studded bag try a like turquoise jewelry is the easy way to kind of play on it i would say um the denim on denim i feel like anyone can accomplish the denim on denim uh look and still be on trend american western culture let me know if that's something you're into or you're just like no you can miss me with it i really do think it's part of my culture so i mean part of my part of my personal style this last one is an interesting one i think it's really funny um because i noticed it last year when i was like copenhagen fashion week i saw a lot of people like wearing these babor jackets if you don't know what a babor jacket is i'm popping up on the screen the traditional one is like um like a trenchy coat with the corduroy collar i'm popping up a picture so i saw a lot of people with these babor coats right and then i was like what's happening why are so many people wearing these coats <laughs> And then I see a little later that this is a trend that's like popping up this, I call it the Kate Middleton, but it's more of like an English countryside. Um, I spend my weekend or I'm spending a weekend at my estate where we're going hunting for quail and duck and I ride horses. To me, you know what this reminds me of? It It's like an English countryside, Kate Middleton, like I said, but it reminds me of what we used to wear, if you're a millennial, 
um check in but what we used to like wear back in the day with like our green parkas our scars and like horse like riding boots remember when we did that or the oh or the quilted burberry jacket i wanted that jacket so bad but i was just like i can't spend this money you know the 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 quilted burberry jacket where you rolled up the sleeve and the burberry print was on the y'all know what i'm talking about i'll pop it up but that was like <laughs> the style like yeah so uh, that's making a resurgence well not resurgence i don't know that's like peaking right so a lot of retailers are selling babor jacket dupes i guess and you can find them a lot of places if you want to dibble and dabble into this trend personally it's not really something i would like i do follow an influencer her name is Lydia I don't know what her name is anyway I'll pop her picture up but this is like her she it, first thing I saw I was like oh this is like her style this is how she dresses she lives on the English countryside this is her life you know or Kate Middleton this is her life this is not something I would wear but if I wanted to dabble in it you know I would I would thrift a coat that looks like the bad boy I wouldn't spend new um I would edge it up with a pair of cargo pants and a pair of heels i think janae actually wore one of these coats with like thigh high boots or something and she wore the coat as a dress that was cute this isn't something that i would be into um the worst thing i would do i mean even if if i did want to do something alongside of this you know what i would do i would pair a pair of hunter boots with like a pea coat and a new york a, a yankees fitted that would be like my play on the English countryside. That's about as far I was I would go as the English countryside. But if you have that Burberry quilted jacket and a pair of riding boots, grab it. If you ain't throw it away, if you ain't give it away, grab it. You'll be on trend, okay? Because that's trending right now. <laughs> and I saw a couple good renditions of it. I'm popping them on the screen, I'm sure, where it was done really in a cool way. I saw one. Uh, I guess style or style of one girly she wore the jacket with like a pair of jorts I didn't mention jorts in this trend because I feel like it's just been done so much and it's always like seen everywhere so I didn't want to talk about jorts but jorts is trending if you would like to stay on the jort trend I want to style a pair of jorts with um, a pair of knee-high boots and a real uh, chunky cable knit sweater um, I thought that would be really cute but I didn't want to mention drawers because it's been overdone. Go on to the last piece, which is accessories. And accessories to me are include the bags, the shoes. Um, I want to talk about a little bit about jewelry. But first, we'll start with shoes. We're continue. We're going to continue to see the ballet flats, the flats. So if you have your ballet flats, if you have your studded flats, if you have pointy toe mules, any type of those things, keep wearing them. Um, you know, I that's the only trend that I think that would stay in my closet this fall winter. I will be wearing all the boots I already own. I'm not gonna venture out and buy anything new. I'm just really excited to wear my knee-high boots. Um, I do have a few boots that lean onto the Western trend, so I don't need anything there. Cowboy boots as well. I talked about that earlier. I do have cowboy boots. I bought mine thrifted resale market, cleaned them really well, wear them. They look better than any new ones that I would buy. So yeah, if you're looking for comfortable, fun shoes, cowboy boots would be my suggestion. If you have ballet flats and have bought ballet flats, keep going, you have them. Those studded ones, the pointed ones. I'll put some dupes that I have for the Alaya ones. They're really good. And also the Ghani dupes that I wear a lot of. I will link them as well. They're two of my favorites. That bags. We talked about the material suede, but I think fringe and suede bags. Also studded bags. I saw a lot of studded bags everywhere. I'm not really into that. I don't really care for it. I mean, if I see something that I really think I need, I'll buy it. But there are a few studded bags. So if you have a studded bag, you're on trend. If you're looking for one, buy one, but I will post it here. I'm seeing a lot of suede large bags carry-all bags a lot of like worn leather bags i know that coach 
um the two bags from coach that are trending right now i really really enjoy them they look i love looking at them i really like that one i don't know what it's called i'll put it on the screen but it, it's a big carry-all but it has like the distressed look of it i love that bag How about jewelry we talked about the western trend the bolo ties these accessories that are more in the western realm of cowboy culture um i actually went and purchased a few like natural stone material type of jewelry so i'm really excited about that like i said it's like a cowboy culture so it's like really earthy and tonal and i'm that's really my style so that's what i went with that another thing that's trending is large bangles i know we saw like the bone cuff from tiffany's elsa peretti and then like these wavy cuffs so if you have anything any dupes like that that's still really trending but now we're going back we're taking it back you know how i mentioned the boho is like really trending the boho chic is trending and we'll see resin bangles with the plastic and the material with this kind of plasticky kind of we'll see it in neutral tones um browns reds um whites navies like i've seen a few different ones and there's some good ones out there um if i find any or see any worth purchasing i'm gonna link anything good below that i find and pop up a picture another trend that i am excited for are um some hair accessories i'm really excited about the french pins i've been seeing a lot of people talk about french pins so i started like digging into it and i'm like oh okay i really like it i'm usually a claw clip girl i will throw my hair in a claw clip but i like the way these french pins and also like these um gold or metal barrettes look i'd be interested in trying to use some of these um accessories in my natural curly hair i think it would be really pretty with the french pin with my hair pinned up in the back and like tendrils of hair falling down on my face with the french pin um i'm really into the french roll you know the french roll was coming back if you're a black girl you already know the french roll was a big 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 style back in the 90s late 80s all our mamas and aunties used to have them and they'd be slick honey i love the french roll i'm not getting a french roll but i would like to use the french pen as something that kind of tucks the little french roll and kind of give me that look for a day right so that's something i'd definitely be interested in fashion is cyclical things come back around so that's why i said most of these things are attainable and things that you probably already own in your closet that's what i wanted to focus on i'm so glad that them hot toddy shorts are no longer trending because that was not a functional fashion trend i hated them things i'm glad the underwear that people were wearing with trench coats i'm not wearing that like anyway we're going on a rant if you enjoyed this video be sure to like comment some of your favorite trends or some of the looks that i showed that you'd be interested in trying make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss my styling video where i'm going to shop my closet for any of these trends and make some looks creating these trends in my own closet so no need to spend money we're gonna try and challenge ourselves to go in our closet and find these trends and put some looks together that fit our life right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like comment i love chatting with you guys and until next time bye <laughs>